I'm Sarah Peterson and welcome to Sun Focus Today. A District 16 Meet the School Board Candidates Forum will take place from 7 to 9 p.m. tonight at the District Services Center. The forum, open to all, is sponsored by the District's Community Education Department and will be moderated by the League of Women Voters. Eight district residents filed for four seats on the District 16 School Board, which are up for election Tuesday, November 3rd. All candidates have been invited to participate in the forum. Each term runs four years, beginning in January 2010. Members attend board meetings on the second and fourth Tuesdays of the month, serve as a liaison to both a district organization and school, participate on subcommittees and task forces, and attend programs and events throughout the year. The Spring Lake Park School District serves 4,600 students and encompasses all of Spring Lake Park and much of Blaine and a portion of Fridley. The regular season for Minnesota high school football wrapped up on Wednesday night and section tournaments begin early next week. The Totino Grace Eagles kept their unbeaten streak alive this week, winning 48-12 at St. Louis Park. The Blaine Bengals and Furley Tigers each went 7-1 on their seasons as Blaine won 70-21 at Elk River and Fridley won 20-0 at home over Robinsdale Cooper. One other area team got a win this week as the St. Anthony Huskies edged the team from St. Bernard's 24-21. Blaine and Totino Grace have been seeded first in their respective sections and automatically advanced to their section semifinals where they will host a game on Saturday, October 31st. Area teams that will host section quarterfinals on Tuesday night, October 27th, include the Frilly Tigers, which will host Mount West Tonka, and the Irondale Knights, which finish the regular season 5-3, and will start the section playoffs at home versus North St. Paul. The Ladies Auxiliary to Frilly VFW Post 363 invites everyone to make a difference day on Saturday. They will be collecting non-perishable food items for the food shelf. You can drop off donations at the Post in Fridley. To learn more about this and other events at the Post, call ahead or visit online. For more about these or other stories from the Sun Focus, visit our website at www.mnsun.com. For the Sun Focus today, I'm Sarah Peterson. We'll see you tomorrow.